today's question. Damien, you've spoken about apertures. What can you tell us about shutter speeds? Right. Before I tell you about shutter speeds, I've got to tell you about a thing called the exposure triangle. And that's how the shutter, the aperture and the ISO work in harmony to increase or decrease one another's properties to get the exact exposure. I will do a whole piece on the exposure triangle, so bear with me. Let me just go back to the shutter speeds. Basically, the shutter speed has two, two real uh, world properties to it. The first one is it can be increased or decreased to allow um, the shutter to be open longer, to allow more light in to affect the sense of the correct exposure. And also, it gives us the ability to freeze action. Now, one of the things that people often make a mistake of is because they don't hold the camera properly, they use a shutter speed that's too slow and you get an inherent blur within the portraiture or within the photography that they're taking. An old rule of thumb used to be that you should never use a shutter speed slower than the uh, focal length of the lens that you're using. So for argument's sake, if you're using 125 in the lens, then you don't need to be using a 60th of a second. Now that is a, still a good maxim, even though we've got fantastic image stabilisation in lenses, and of course my favourite camera, the OMD, has a fabulous image stabilisation built into the body. Um, but it's still a good rule of uh, thumb to use. Bottom line is then, it's either you, you, you slow your shutter speed down or speed your shutter speed up for light gathering, and then um, you use it to uh, either arrest the motion or very creatively blur the motion within the picture. And that, in a nutshell, is what the shutter speed's for. <laughs>